हाई स्टूडेंट्स If the normal at one end, normal at one end of lattice rectum, the normal at one end of lattice rectum of the ellipse. x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 passes through passes through one end of minor axis then e power 4 plus e square is equal to options are given 1 minus 1 2 0 if the normal at one end of lr means lattice rectum of the ellipse passes through one end of minor axis See this is ellipse. So it treats as a is greater than b. So end points of lattice rectum. So this is a e comma b square by a. The normal at one end of lattice rectum passes through one end of minor axis. Minor axis is call it this is zero comma minus b. So, one end of lattice rectum. This is called P. The point P is a e comma b square by a. Now, at this point, normal equation. So, equation of normal. Normal at a e comma b square by a is. now the formula is equation normal a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 is equal to a square minus b square what is x1 y1 a comma b square by a so this is a square x by a e minus b square y by y1 b square by a is equal to a square minus b square e b square can be written as a square into 1 minus e square so a one year cancel so this is ax by e b square b square gets cancel ay is equal to a square minus a square plus a square e square so these gets cancel <clears throat> so the normal passes through zero comma minus b. So it passes through. It means the normal passes through zero comma one end of minor axis. So in place of x and y, write zero comma zero comma minus b. So this is zero. So a into b is minus b. So this is a b is equal to a square e square so there also one a gets cancel so this is a and this gets cancel therefore b is equal to a e square again squaring on both sides b square is equal to a square into e power 4 where b square is a square into 1 minus e square equal to a square e power 4 so b square b square cancel 1 minus e square is equal to e power 4 that implies implies 1 is equal to e power 4 plus e square so 1 is the answer
next one the locus of foot of perpendicular locus of foot of perpendicular drawn from center to any tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is here options are x square plus y square equal to so this is a square x square plus b square y square and ax plus by whole square equal to x square plus y square x square plus y square is equal to a square x square plus b square y square x plus y is equal to a plus b so these are options that is the locus of a foot of perpendicular from center to any tangent to the ellipse so this is ellipse So this is tangent. So equation of tangent to the ellipse in slope form y is equal to mx plus or minus root of a square m square plus b square. The equation of line which is passing through 0 comma 0 and is perpendicular to 1. Slope of this line is m. A slope of this line is minus 1 by m and the line is passing through 0 comma 0. So what about the equation of this line? This equation is equation of this line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. What is x1 y1? 0 comma 0. y equal to minus 1 by m into x. Because the line is passing through origin y equal to mx. Slope of this line is m, slope of this line is minus 1 by m. So, equation of line, line, this you can call it 1. Equation of line perpendicular to 1 and passing through origin and passing through 0, 0 is y is equal to minus 1 by m into x implies m is equal to minus x by y minus x by y so in place of m we write minus x by y therefore from 1 from 1 y is equal to minus x by y into x plus or minus root of a square m square is x square by y square plus b square in place of m you write minus x by y minus x square by y plus or minus root of a square x square plus b square y square by y square root of y square is y so this is cross multiplication y square is equal to minus x square plus or minus root of a square m square a square x square so it is root of a square x square plus b square y square now you take this side and squaring on both sides x square plus y square whole square is equal to a square x square plus b square y square so it is first option is the answer okay right down
next one if p s p dash is a focal chord focal chord of the ellipse x square by 25 plus y square by 16 is equal to 1 where s is focus with focus s and sp is equal to sp equal to 8 then sp dash is equal to 3 2 74 by 9 26 by 5 these are options P S P dash is a focal chord of the ellipse. So this is ellipse. This is focal chord. P S P dash. In parabola, we have if P S P dash is a focal chord of a conic, we have one point. P S P dash is a focal chord. Chord of a conic conic with focus yes focus yes then 1 by sp plus 1 by in there I, I told psp yes q psq but here can p dash is equal to 2 by L. There in the parabola, I told P S Q is a focal chord of a conic with focus S. Then 1 by S P plus 1 by S Q is equal to 2 by L. But the name is just you can put P dash. Where L is, where L is semi lattice rectum. where L is semi lattice rectum. So this have one important point I told in the parabola. So for a conic, if it is a parabola, L is semi lattice rectum. What is semi lattice rectum? 2A. Length of lattice rectum is 4A. Semi lattice rectum is 2A. So 2 by 2A means that is 1 by A. Okay. Now conic means what? Here you can take the ellipse. In this ellipse, A greater than B. So, length of lattice rectum, length of LR means lattice rectum is 2B square by A because A greater than B. That is 2 into 16 by 5. A is, that is 32 by 5. Length of lattice rectum. What about semi lattice rectum? Semi lattice rectum is half of this. That is 16 by 5, which is L. So, 1 by SP. SP is given 8. SP is given 8. Plus 1 by SP dash is equal to 2 by L. L is similar rectum. 16 by 5. So, that is 1 by 8 plus 1 by sp dash is equal to so this is what 8 times gets cancelled this is a 5 by 8 so 1 by sp dash is equal to 5 by 8 minus 1 by 8 that is 4 by 8 that is 1 by 2 so this is 1 by sp dash therefore sp dash is equal to 2 is the answer
next one next problem if p s p dash is a focal chord of the ellipse and s p is equal to 16 then s dash p dash is equal to s dash p dash equal to so options are same So little small difference for this question. Now S dash P dash. The question is what? S dash S dash P dash is equal to that is the question. Same process P S P dash is a focal chord. So 1 by S P plus 1 by S P dash equal to 2 by L, where L is simulator rectum. What about L is equal to here B square by A that is equal to 16 by 5. Now this is 1 by SP is given 16 plus 1 by SP dash is equal to 2 by L where L is 16 by 5 that is 5 by 8. So 1 by SP dash is equal to 5 by 8 minus 1 by minus 1 by 16 that is equal to 16 LCM 10 minus 1 that is 9 by 16 implies S P dash is equal to 16 by 9 S P dash but our question is what S dash P dash so we have one point the sum of the focal distances of any point on the ellipse is equal to the length of major axis. We have one point since since S P plus S dash P is equal to 2A where P is a point on the ellipse. P is a point on the ellipse. Suppose I am taking the point is A or I am taking the point is R s r plus s dash r equal to a if i am taking the point is another point let it be some uh, some another number so t s t plus s dash t is equal to 2a now i am taking the point is what this point this is the point where p is a point in general p is a point in place of p i can take another point p dash so s p dash plus s dash p dash is also equal to 2a that is so s p dash s dash p dash is also equal to 2a okay and this is what 16 by 9 plus s dash p dash is equal to 2a a is 5 2a is 10 implies s dash p dash is equal to 10 minus 16 by 9 that is 90 minus 16 by 9 74 by 9 so s yes, dash p dash is Next one, 
if p x1 comma y1 is a point on x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 where a is greater than b then area of triangle s p s dash is equal to where s comma s dash are the foci b e into root of a square minus x1 square a e into root of b square minus y1 square 2 b e b e by 2 into root of a square plus x1 square so these are options P x1 comma y1 is a point on the on the ellipse. So this is the point is P x1 comma y1 focus yes yes dash a greater than b. So this is a e comma 0 yes dash minus a e comma 0. This is center 0 comma 0. 0 comma 0 is center. So this is e, Cn. Now area of triangle SPS dash equal to half into base into height. That is equal to half into base is SS dash. Height is Pn. That is half into SS dash is 2AE distance between the coordinates of foci. So 2AE. Into this is what y1. This is x1 y1 into y1. So these two gets cancelled AE y1. Since x1 comma y1 lies on the ellipse x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square equal to 1. So y1 square by b square is equal to 1 minus x1 square by a square that equal to a square minus x1 square by a square. So y1 square is equal to b square by a square into a square minus x1 square. So y1 is equal to b by a into root of a square minus x1 square. So this is equal to a e into y1 is b by a into root of a square minus x1 square. a square a square gets cancelled that is b e into root of a square minus x1 square. So, so it is first option is correct. Next question, if the point P 
if P is a point on the ellipse, then area of triangle SPS dash is to area of triangle A P A dash is E is to 1 E is to 2 2 is to E <coughs> area of triangle or 1 is to E where S comma S dash are foci and A comma A dash are vertices area So, area of triangle is same, this one area of triangle and vertices, this is A comma 0, A dash minus A comma 0. So, this is triangle. So, area of triangle A, P, A dash half into base into height, half into base is A, A dash and height is P, N. Height is Pn. A dash is 2A. Pn is Y1. So, 2 to get cancelled. That is A Y1. Therefore, area of triangle SP S dash is to triangle AP A dash is equal to AE Y1 is to A Y1. That equal to E is to 1 area of triangle. Next one, <coughs> if the ellipse ellipse x square by 4, x square by 4 plus y square by 1 equal to 1 and x square by 1 plus y square by a square is equal to 1 intersect in 4 distinct distinct points and a is equal to a equal to b square minus 10b plus 25 then b does not belongs to b does not belongs to first option 4 comma 6 4 comma 6 so this is minus infinity comma 4 union 6 to 8 and 0 comma 6 <coughs> the two ellipse this and this intersect in four distinct points it is given clearly so it is a greater than b the ellipse cuts x axis if you write y is equal to 0 x equal to plus or minus 2 2 comma 0 minus 2 comma 0 if you write x equal to 0 y equal to plus or minus 1 so this is 0 comma 1 0 comma minus 1 and the second ellipse see here 
y equal 0, x equal to plus or minus 1. So, this is 1 comma 0 and this is minus 1 comma 0. So, the ellipse is, is like this. Because it is given that it cuts in 4 distinct points. 4 distinct points. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 distinct points. The ellipse cuts. That means what is the relation? So, this is what? 0, 0, a. So, that is what? This is 1 and this is greater than 1. Then only it cuts distinct points. Okay. So, the relation is what? Clearly a greater than 1. Suppose if a equal to 1, that means what? The ellipse is also like this. Ellipse. That means what? It touches at two points only, but it is given distinct points, four points. Okay. So, if it is lies here, so it is not possible. Not possible. They do not intersect. They do not touch. So, clearly a greater than 1. And what is a equal to given? This is b square minus 10b plus 25 e is greater than 1. So, b square minus 10b plus 24 e is greater than 0. Now, the factors b minus 4 into b minus 6 e is greater than 0. Therefore, b belongs to minus infinity comma 4 union 6 comma infinity. b belongs to, but the question is what? b does not belongs to. So, b does not belongs to here 4 comma 6. 4 comma 6 that is closed interval that is answer. Next one. Let 1 comma minus 1 is focus. And x minus y minus 3 equal to 0 is the corresponding <coughs> corresponding focus. And eccentricity E is equal to 1 by 2. Then the length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum. First question. And the second question is length of major axis. Third one length of minor axis okay and equation of major axis so I have to find all these so 1 comma minus 1 is the focus and 
corresponding directrix is given so we have to find <coughs> length of lattice rectum length of major axis length of minor axis equation of major axis and so on and of course these four see suppose this is focus is don't feel this is x axis this is y axis general diagram this one is so this is what focus 1 comma minus 1 or leave it this is focus and this is z what about c 0 comma 0 in general standard form 0 comma 0 this is a comma 0 and this is a by comma a by comma 0 okay a by comma 0 now what is sz is equal to what sz so what is equation of directrix is this is the directrix sz means length of the perpendicular from focus to the directrix this is the general diagram standard form so if you take this is you can put here this is s what is s is given 1 comma minus 1 this is directrix what is equation of directrix x minus y minus 3 equal to 0 x minus y y okay minus 3 equal to 0 what about s z is equal to what s z means length of the perpendicular from 1 comma minus 1 to the directrix s z is equal to perpendicular distance from focus 1 comma minus 1 to the directrix x minus y minus 3 equal to 0 that is equal to mod of a x 1 a is 1 b is minus 1 c is minus 3 a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c by root of a square plus b square that is 1 by root 2 yes that is but in general what about z equal to z means what c is z minus c s that is c z minus c s that equal to a by e minus a e so this is a by e this is center minus a e is equal to this is also z 1 by root 2. So, already think E is given. E is 1 by 2. So, if you take A is taken common, 1 by E minus C is equal to 1 by root 2. So, that is A into 1 by E is what? 1 by E. That is 2. 2 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by root 2. A into 3 by 2 is equal to 1 by root 2 okay so so a is equal to a equal to 2 by 3 root 2 that is a that is here it is okay yes that is 1 by root 2 so this is here a root 2 by 3 a equal to root 2 by 3 Now we have to find the length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum is what? That is 2b square by a. Okay. So we have a value. What is a value? Root 2 by 3. And what is e is equal to 1 by 2. Now b square is equal to b square equal to a square into 1 minus e square. That is a square. A square is 2 by, so this is 9 into 1 minus 1 by 4. That is equal to, that is 2 by 9 into, so this is 3 by 4. 3 by 4. So 3 times cancel and it is 2 times cancel. That is 1 by 6. So, length of lattice rectum. So, length of lattice rectum equal to 
टू बी स्क्वेर बै ए टू इंटू बी स्क्वेर बी स्क्वेर इज दिस इज बी स्क्वेर वन बै सिक्स बै ए एज रूट आफ् दिस टू बै थ्री लेंथ आफ् दिस द लेंथ आफ् लैटस् रेक्ट ओके लेंथ आफ् मेजर एक्सेस टू ए लेंथ आफ मैंड एक्सेस टू बी सो ओके यू हेव गाट आल दिस रिजल्ट You can just write down now how to find the equation of major axis major axis so this is the major axis so this is directrix what is slope of directrix is 1 so directrix and major axis are perpendicular so slope of directrix is 1 and slope of major axis is minus 1 so point to slope equation of major axis okay write down So <coughs> this is equal to one by three into three by root two. That is equal to one by root two. Length of right angle is one by root two. Length of major axis two a. You have a value. Length of minor axis two b. You have b value. And equation of major axis. How to find equation of major axis? Once I explain, this is the directrix. Its slope is one. This is the major axis. Slope is minus one. Point is focus. Focus lies on major axis. Point to slope. Equation of major axis. Oh, okay. Thank you.